Hi everyone and welcome back to Winning with SketchUp. Adam, your host with you once again. And in this video, we are going to learn how to take this image here of this flower. This is a daylily flower. And we're going to learn how to cut this out and convert this into a 2D face me component. In order to do this, we are going to use the freeware program called Inkscape. And you can download that at inkscape.org. And again, that is 100% free. So what I have here is this image that I imported. I just drug this over from my hard drive. We can see that the um, entity info here is reading that it is an image. I'm going to explode this. And I'm just going to group this here temporarily. And what I've done is I've set up in my preferences here under my applications, I've set up Inkscape as my default image editor for this example here. Normally I use Earth and View, but I just switched this over to Inkscape um, to help speed some things up. So what we're going to do now is go into our material editor and we are going to sample this material here. And in the edit window here, I'm going to use this edit um, with external editor button and that will go ahead and open up this image in Inkscape. I'm going to get this import option here. I'm just going to say OK. And that'll go ahead and open up Inkscape. And what I'm going to do here is let's enlarge this. Um, hold Control, scroll wheel, you can zoom in. And the first thing we're going to do is cut this plant out. We want to remove just this bottom soil part here. So to do that, I'm going to use the Bezier curves tool here and I'm just going to go in and just kind of trace here around. I can cut some of these bottom leaves off here. And we're just going to trace around what we're going to keep here. And when we're done with that, I'm going to go to the select tool, hold shift. Now I have the path and the object selected. I'm going to right click and go to set clip and that went ahead and cut that out for us. Now I'm going to select, make sure I just have the image here selected of the flower and we're going to go to filters, fill and transparency. We're going to go to light eraser and we're going to use the settings expansion 98.6, erosion 107.7, global opacity set to 1. We're going to hit apply and now we're going to hit close. And you might need to adjust those settings if you have um, any white at all in the image that you're cutting out. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to save this image. And what I'm going to do here, um, we can hit export and overwrite. And But it's not going to overwrite the image that we have here. Um, and we could try to copy this name here, but this is a JPEG and we need this to come in as a PNG. So what I'm going to do is just save this here to my hard drive. I'm going to give this a name here. Call it Stella Daylily. Uh, it's the type of Daylily that it is. And I'm going to export this over to my hard drive here and just hit export. And now this came in. here we can see that I have this here now Stella Daylily and I can open that up in Earthen view and we can see that it is cut out and you will get that little white ghosting whenever you look at a PNG in here um, so it is actually cut out really cleanly overall so just that quickly um, we are able to remove that background using Inkscape now what I want to do is I'm going to drag from my hard drive here, I'm just going to drag this over into SketchUp. And I'm going to do that again. I'm actually going to try to drag this in. I want this to lay flat. There we go. And now what we need to do is, if we would convert this into a component at this point, um, we could do that. And I'll rotate this up here 90 degrees. But as soon as we turn on shadows, we're going to get um, just a hard box here for the component and down below the ground plane here. So I'm going to lift this up. And 
it's still an image. Let me explode that there. Now we can see. And drop that down. And we can see that we're getting that um, rectangular shadow there. So what I want to do is I want to create a nice shadow here that's going to um, have a cutout to it so we can actually make out those leaves if we wanted to present this in SketchUp and we can do that with Inkscape as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sample this PNG here. We can see the difference. This is the original. Um, we sample that. That's the JPEG. Now we've brought this PNG in here. We're going to take that back into Inkscape. So I'm going to open this up again, make sure that I'm using the PNG. And what that's going to do is just make sure all those um, adjustments that we've done are applied. And now we're opening this up here in Inkscape. And there we can see we have our PNG. Up here is the name. And the first thing we want to do here is I'm going to go to make sure it's selected. And I'm going to go to Filters, Fill in Transparency. And I'm going to go to Silhouette, Toggle Live Preview. And this is a really easy way if you want to make an alpha map for any of your um, render engines. So there's a good trick there. You can just toggle cut out and now you've created an alpha map. You can save that out. So, but what I want is I just want the silhouette as black. I'm going to hit apply, hit close. And now I'm going to go to edit, make a bitmap copy. And what that's going to do is just make a copy with that silhouette on top. Now I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and we're going to go to Colors, we'll set the colors to 2, we're going to toggle Remove Background, and toggle on Live Preview, and see what we got there, we're going to hit OK, and what that did was just create a vector of that silhouette. So now I'm going to go to Save As, I'm going to save this as a DXF file, and we're just going to say Save say OK and we can get rid of that now we're just going to go back into SketchUp and import that DXF file if you have SketchUp Pro um, you can go ahead and do that right through the import option if you don't have SketchUp Pro and you have SketchUp Make you're gonna have to use um, one of the free DXF importer plugin or um, the SU4U has a commercial uh, DXF importer. I think it's $10. You can download that from the extension warehouse. So here's what we were able to create and bring in. And it's a very nice um, SketchUp edges here of our plant. And if we select all of those edges, we can see we have about 12,000 of them. So we want to reduce those down. To do that, I'm going to use edge tools. And we're going to use the simplify curves option. We're going to set this to 0.01. I'm going to say OK on that. And that'll go through process um, fairly quickly there. We removed almost 5,800. And we can see what we're left with now is we have about 6,000 edges here. And if we want to reduce that a little further, we can we go to maybe 0 0.02. See, that's taking us down to about 4,000 there. It's still quite heavy. Let's try 0 0.05. And I can live with that. We got about 2,000 edges there. And you, you might really want to take it down further, depending on what you're doing with this. Um, and we could go to something like 0.15 and really reduce it there. Now we're down to about 1,500. And that looks good. Now I'm going to use this plugin S4U Make Faces. And that will very quickly go through and generate the face here. And you can see it did a good job. And there's a couple plugins that will make faces. Eneroth has a good one. Um, there's some option. You can right click, do generate faces. I if you have um, Frito Tools on Surface, that comes with a generate faces tool. So what I'm going to do now is just double click here in the center. I'm going to make that a group. I'm going to go Control A, select everything, and then Control plus Shift and deselect the group that we just created. And now I'm going to hit Delete and delete everything else. So I just um, grouped what we wanted to keep. 
selected everything, deselected the group, and then deleted all that excess. So now we can explode this down. Let's reverse these faces. And bring this over here on top. And what I want to do, I'm going to lift this up in the air above this. And we're going to go to top view. We're going to go make sure parallel projections on. We're going to turn on x-ray mode. And now we're just going to scale this up. And we're going to use the move tool and the scale tool. And looks like I got pretty lucky there. First try. And I'm just going to tweak this here. Five. Oops, too much. Bring that back down. There we go. That looks good. Um, maybe just a little bit this way. And then move that hairs over. Yeah, something like that. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We still have the transparency in our image itself so that looks good we just wanted to line it up and we can turn off x-ray mode we can explode this image make sure our texture is set to projected which it is we're going to sample that to sketch a paint bucket we can get into our group here and we're just going to paint that in there and should line up um, almost exactly there if it's off we can get in here we can position this from here as well and just tweak that a little bit further, get that where we want it. Say OK. Now get back out and let's delete that original one. So let's rotate this up now, 90 degrees. And let's explode this again and let's make it into a component. Set our component axis in the middle. Click three times, toggle always face camera, turn off shadows face sun give it a name let's hit create and get inside now I'm going to select triple click select everything hold shift deselect that interface and we're going to toggle this as hidden here in our entity info so now we can turn off our parallel projection and this is rotating here around the center axis and we've gone from this image to this beautiful cutout here you can see how nice that's cut out just using Inkscape and you can also look at this in mass here I'm just gonna use the freehand tool and let's draw little patch here and I'm gonna use scale this up just a little bit maybe scale it this way and I'm gonna use the plugin component array from SD Mitch and we can see we have our component here I'm gonna set this to uh, we want Stella Daylily and we're going to set the spacing here, let's say one foot, two inch grid angle. Let's set that to 45 grid type, triangulation, vertical orientation. Say OK. And it looks like we got a bunch here. I think our scale is off. So um, we've never really scaled these down. So let me just measure this here. And yeah, that's about. Uh, a little over two and a half feet across so let's just change the settings here grid spacing uh, let's go 32 inches say okay you can see all those there still a little bit maybe make it 36 And now what I'm going to do is select all of these and I'm going to use the plugin from Chris Fulmer scale rotate multiple scale and rotate randomly and we're going to go 0 0.05 to 1 and 
say OK. And that randomly scaled these. And you see we're getting really nice here. We can go into our styles and go into our face style. And if this is set to faster, we can set that to medium or nicer to get better results in our transparency. And you can see that there. And let's just do a test render here with Thea. And I'm going to set some depth of field here. And let's set the camera maybe there. And let's just go ahead and hit render. And we can see how nice this looks here. So I hope that was helpful. And that was how we were able to um, take an image from the internet, cut it out, and remove the background, create a very nice vector of it um, so we could get nice shadows right within SketchUp, bring that in, um, convert that into a FaceMe component, and do all of that with the freeware. So we will see you in the next video, and I hope everybody has a great day and a great weekend.